there should never be a problem when you've been doing this for so long. And the fact of the matter is you can't scrounge up anything decent means that Sony didn't give you anything to give. And so many unboxings and so much new stuff to look forward to. And I here's a special number nine on the corner that we need to get into. Might have to square that up. Let's get into these topics. Discuss when it come to news, ain't no better than us. When it come to news, ain't no one you can trust. We got a lot to touch, so it's time to crush. We got a lot to discuss. When it come to news, ain't no better than us. When it come to news, ain't no one you can trust. We got a lot to touch, so it's time to crush. So it's time to crush. Peace and blessings, and welcome back to Xbox Frontline News with your boy the King. And today it's it's like um you know, like gearing up for for the Super Bowl or whatever. You're getting ready to get out. You're getting ready to go forth. You're getting ready to take care of your business. You're getting ready to go see things. You got to do a lot of work. You got to meet up with a lot of old friends, a lot of new friends, and a lot of people that you've um, been talking to online. Now it's face-to-face time to put the face to in, in person, and that stuff needs to happen. But if this is your first time finding the channel, please take my invite and become a member, subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell and follow me on our journey to this uh, wonderful games conferences this weekend. We have Summer Game Fest, we have IGN, whatever that's called, and we have Fan Fest that we're going to be dealing with. In doing that, I want everybody for whatever games that y'all want to see, whatever y'all want to know about, members. Now, l- let me explain that to you because. Uh, you know, a lot of you dudes think I'm going to be putting up all that stuff here. Nah, that stuff is going to be there for the members because it takes my channel to a different direction. And this is a news channel, a lot of satire, but heavy news. So I do report on PlayStation games. I do report on Nintendo games, uh, but I do cover and I do cover Xbox games heavy. You know, I do talk about Xbox stuff very heavy, very positively because I see where they're going and that's my platform of choice. So, if that's something that interests you, stick around, follow through, and I'm going to keep that news coming. Pause. No diddy. We don't do that here. But at the same time, we're going to have fun with this. All right. So what I'm going to start with. Oh, you know what? I want to start with. I want to I want to start with something that has disappointed the crap out of me, man. Let's get into the disappointment real quick, and then we can talk about it. Today's final shape day. Everybody's getting it together now. Yesterday I had a little bit of problem with the music. What happened? Something went weird with the upload, but I'm making sure everything is you know pretty good right now. So you know some Destiny Two players are having login issues on Final Shape launch day. I'm one of those individuals. Shout out to Legendary Yobi. That's my brother um, from another mother, 100%. But um, I'm having problems with the login of uh, Destiny Two. Destiny 2 players face frustration with login issues on the final shape launch day. Bungie is addressing the login problems and has temporarily disabled web and perk swaps in Destiny 2. Destiny 2 players may continue to face issues for a time being as Bungie works on a fix. Destiny 2 players are having issues logging into the game with a final shape on the launch day. Bungie is looking into issues being reported by the community. These issues are causing a lot of frustration among Destiny 2 players wanting to experience the conclusion of the Light and Darkness saga. Destiny 2, the final shape. Players will infiltrate the heart of the Traveler and battle the forces of darkness led by the Witness in order to face the powerful enemies lying in wait. Players can harness new powerful prismatic powers and raise their power level to with new gear drops. The, prog- the progress through the campaign to particip- and participate through new activities. I'm frustrated right now because it is uh, five and some change in the PM and I've been trying to play this game since one o'clock PM Eastern Standard Time. My level of frustration is beyond because my anticipation for this is years in, 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 in the making, years in the culmination of this. This is, you can hear my frustration in my voice. Um, It's just, this, this is disheartening to be honest with you because I still not able 
to play something that is paid for and I'm, and I'm ready to play and I put time to the side, you know, and, and I only have a little bit of time before I, I fly out. And this is just very, very frustrating. You have no idea how frustrated I am with this process. And this is sad to me because I really wanted to play this game. I really wanted to play it so bad. And I'll probably have to play it tomorrow on, on my last day here. And, and it sucks. It really sucks. Yo, I've waited for Final Shape since the moment that Destiny came out. You understand? Because it has been building towards that. From Cage's death to Zavala stuff to everything that's going on. From real life to virtual life to everything. I met my best friend inside uh, uh, Destiny. A hot monkey's loving. Um, man, I love that guy to death. Uh, I met my one of my other best friends, uh, Green Mason. Uh, and Daddy Foster and them dudes, we all was playing Destiny. At some point, we we migrated over from Destiny 1 to go over to Destiny 2. We've played that game. I've played that game so much, like it was a college course every day. The same way I'm on Fortnite right now, I'm one of those people, when I get into something, if it's a habit, it's something that I want to rock with, that's something that I'm going to put my all into, and that's something I'm going to play. I'm going to play from beginning to end. And, you know, a lot of times we're running raids and we're running back and forth. We're running nightfalls and we're doing all this stuff. And that game takes a lot of dexterity. It takes a lot of, you know, fortitude. A lot of times I wasn't into the, um, what is it, the, 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 the trials, you know, those type of things. But then I got into that with my boy Sinister, you know, uh, you know ground up dude me and and sinister go so far back he's he's channel five you know that's the original iron lords you know channel five but again so i'm i'm shout out to legendary yobi he gifted me the game so and 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 that was all for the strength of the love you know i i, I can't i can't say too much because it's, it's just like there's not enough words to express my gratitude to, to people that go out of their way to do this because I respect everything about you dudes. Trust me when I tell you this. I know, and when I'm telling you dudes to be frugal with your money, I know how hard we work for every penny that we get. So the fact that anybody super chats any of these, put super uh, thumbs up, super stickers to any of these videos, you spend any type of money. This is the reason why I do give back so much because I value you so much you don't understand. I come from absolute nothing. You understand? I come from absolute poverty. To to make it to, to where I am in this life, I respect everybody's grind and everybody's hustle so anybody paying attention and and super chatting and stuff like that that is beautiful within itself so i take my hat off to him but i go in to get into destiny final shape and i've been gearing up for final shape so much and then i get an error like the servers is full i said let me reset my game you know what I'm saying let me reset the console did that sat there and wait went to reddit and noticed that a whole bunch of people was having the same problem i started that at one o'clock bro and i was trying back and forth on and on and i only had like one real day to game because uh tomorrow i got to get ready and then i leave out on thursday early in the morning this 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 really put a a a, a bummer in, in in the situation man because i really thought i will have time to game at least a solid three four hours you know i'm not going to be able to game all night and stuff like that that's not going to happen but damn man this this it really sucks it really it, you would think that bungie after all these years will the final shape the final dlc the final chapter to your game you would have it right knowing that millions of people is going to show up and going to be there you would have this right but you don't have it right and damn man that sucks so bad because i really wanted to play this game really bad that that really sucks man gotta get to the next topic as a marvel nut as a marvel fool as a marvel stan yeah I had to rein it in a little bit, but now I'm full fledged crazy mode already for this game. Hero shooters by Netflix. Art style looks great. Here. Adam Warlock. Got the kid tuned in. 
Venom, crazy large style. And I'm not even into hero shooters. But, you know, you got Hella there. Come on, man. I love what's going on here. Got the Punisher and Rocket teaming up. Shooting down villains, Magneto and the Scarlet Witch. Father and daughter. I don't care if they retcon that. Guardians of the Galaxy. There we go. Mantis. Warlock. Then you got Wolf, uh, Spider-Man. Teaming up with Venom. I didn't see who that girl was. But Storm. You know, farewell kid is about all of this. Can't wait to get into this game. Okay. Let's see. We'll be doing a review on this. Six. What the hell? Like the Black Panther right there. Marvel Rivals. We have a Marvel Rivals that uh, interview that we have to do with the developer. We're going to show the game. We're going to play the game. We're going to do a whole bunch of stuff. So me and Cog out there in Cali, we're really uh, anticipating that game a lot. So the fact of the matter is you'll be starting to see a whole bunch of different uh, heroes that really works in our favor to know that these heroes will be front and center and be present there. And I love Warlock. Adam Warlock is one of my greatest uh, characters. When he was introduced to the Marvel Universe, he was called him. He fought Thor. It, it was uh, He was made from the high evolutionary. This is something that I cannot wait to see. You see their iteration of Adam Warlock and what, what's to come. I'm not into hero shooters like that, like Overwatch, but maybe this is the um, what they need because you see my Marvels behind me. Maybe this is what they need to get me involved, to get me playing. I, I can't say anything wrong about it. That's a good hook. I'm in. Now, to keep it 100% funky, I honestly believe that Square is going to have a ton of stuff to show. So Final Fantasy IX remake teased by Insider ahead of the official reveal. Um... You know, dudes think that it's going to be arriving sooner than we thought. With multiple entries in the Final Fantasy series, it's hard to not have favorites. And those who love Final Fantasy IX back in the day may have received some exciting news. First released back in 2000, Final Fantasy IX, the ninth main installment in the long-running series by Square Enix, according to recent rumors, is set to get official remake. That would be good. Now, according to Sega and Atlas Leaker, Morty, Mor Moradori, Development for Final Fantasy IX is going well, and Square Enix may be even officially announced the title before April 2025. Moriarty claimed that the remake is indeed happening, but now, thanks thanks to this infamous leaker, we now have some more information about the project. According to them, the remake was originally outsourced to a different developer, but now the development has shifted once more back to Square Enix which they was unhappy with the way things was going. However, they claim the development is very far along, although they have not have an exact release date. They do believe that the title could be released before the end of Square's uh, fisc current fiscal year, which ends on the 30th of March, 31st of March, 2025. That's pretty good. That's something, you know, good to hear. But these dudes is talking about that joint is going to be announced on the Xbox showcase. I'm telling you now, we got some stuff to talk about because I think Square is going to be there in a big way. Final Fantasy IX is apparently going to get a remake and it's supposed to be announced on the Xbox stage. I told you I thought Square is going to have a big presence on the Xbox stage. I would love for that to happen. Square is... Uh, one of those studios that are near and dear to me. I've always followed Square Games. I've always played Square Games. So um, then I'm hearing that this one is going to be turn-based. I would love the turn-based to, to ditch the action, action RPG type of element. I will love turn-based. Please go back to your turn-based roots. I think it would sell a lot. But the fact that it would be announced or shown on the Xbox stage, that's the rumor. I am over the moon. Let it happen, and I can definitely, you know, uh, roll with that. 
Here's something I can talk about that's kind of crazy. Okay, so we're going out there and, you know, we'll be at the Summer Game Fest this year. Shout out to Cognito. Shout out to Iron Lords Gaming Community. Shout out to everyone that has participated in getting there and everybody that's going to be there. So, uh, Jeff Keeley, Ke- Keeley, Summer Game Fest will focus on existing games, so don't hype yourself up for games that are years and years out, says Jeff. What he's, what he's telling you is PlayStation has absolutely nothing and you dudes really need to just focus on the stuff that we have from them and stuff that you do know about because there's nothing available. I believe Microsoft didn't give them anything. They probably got a little smaller stuff that they're going to give them. But we're going to talk about that in a second. In the wake of E3 demise, Jeff's Summer Game Fest has emerged as a self-appointed heir. This is kind of crazy because I told you you know, he will hold the keys to the gate and he will be the one that will be bringing it through. You know, live streams in the years past have brought big reveals as Elden Ring's gameplay in 2001. We should expect more of that kind of thing this year. But, you know, that's that's not to be had. And Jeff said, you know, pump your brakes, hold your horses. This show is not going to, this is not the show that has a lot of coming in 2026 or 2027 teasers uh for games that are years and years out jeff said you know so a lot of these games as games that we heard that's announced the uh, games that are right around the corner so we'll be seeing uh gameplay you know uh eagerly said pretty candidly and saying that if you're looking for huge surprises and announcements you're more likely going to find these and those other 10 polls of the keegley verse <laughs> game awards and stuff like that throughout the end of the year I'm I'm pretty disappointed because I thought he was going big fish hunting. I thought Sony was saving some stuff. And a lot of the PlayStation fan base really thought that he had something saved up for him in this secret show. Like they was going to announce the PlayStation 5 Pro or something like that. Uh, we got to talk about it. The fact that Jeff came out and announced that there... They temper your expectations there's no big announcements and stuff like that maybe he could be uh giving you the sidestep giving you the juke i don't think so i honestly believe sony didn't have anything to give him i don't think microsoft threw any big bones his way i think microsoft is keeping everything in house i believe microsoft has learned their lesson and understand who messes with them in this industry and understand who don't and they need to let their games speak for themselves and do their stuff at their pace and out on their terms because if they're not going to treat you right hashtag no playstation 6 you keep the boot on kong sex this whole generation there won't be any playstation 6 and i won't stop banging until you'll be coming out pause that's exactly what's going to happen we're going to keep this right here Dudes didn't want to give us a fair shot. Nobody ever wants to give Xbox a fair shot. Everything always has to be Xbox tax and and all this disrespect. All right. Popeye's biscuits for you. It gets absolutely nothing. Everything going to be shown over here. And let's see how you do over there if we starve you out. You're not the end all be all. And it's no disrespect. But, uh, you know, we leave with respect until disrespected over here. And it feels like Xbox has been disrespected for a very long time. So we can't take that any longer. So we ain't not going to give you anything. If you want some stuff, you can get some mobile games from King. But we ain't giving you anything else. First, let me start off by saying, have you ever been a little kid that played with G.I. Joes and stuff like that in your backyard and you just wanted to play with your toys and, and just get down into the dirt or whatever? You just, you know, you and your friends or well, hypercharge is here this is crazy the game looks phenomenal hopefully i don't get demonetized for the sound track Welcome to the world of that Hyper looks wild. Explore, defend, survive. Oh Play my god. Bar, sure. 
Co-op and split screen with friends. And best of all, customize your action figure. Might need some Iron Lords in there. Oh my God, that looks like fun. Oh, yeah. You got to do this community day, y'all. Get ready. Cool. Game. Game. Community day. Let's go. Hypercharged. Unbox. Looks dope. Looks like something that we can play with the community. Community gaming is what I'm about. I'm about the team. I'm about friends, our friends and family. I'm about us having extended family. I'm about fight nights. I'm about all of that stuff. If we can get in, we can have fun. That's what I'm talking about. And it looks like to bring back that backyard feeling, that fun. Uh, I suggest everybody go out, try the game, buy the game, get into the game and check it out. I'm going to be picking the game up and definitely have some fun with it and see what we can do with it on you know a, a family uh community night that stuff is always good now every video up until when i'm in california i'm going to be asking you guys daily what do y'all want to see what do y'all want to hear from everything that's going on i don't care if you're a playstation dude i don't care if you're a nintendo dude i don't care if you're an xbox dude what games do you want to see what do you want to know about what do you want me to do while I'm out there, I'm your eyes and your ears, all right? I'm your mouthpiece, pause. Don't use me wrong because I'm not playing that game with you. Hashtag no daddy. We're not doing that here. Cut that out. Pause, you weirdos. But at the same time, not for nothing, if you can't make it out there, you can't make the flight, you're not close, you don't have the funds, you can't do whatever you need to do, I'm there. Tell me what you want to see. I saw people ask me to talk to Undead Labs. If I got the ability to talk to Undead Labs, you best believe I'm going to talk to Undead Labs. I have friends and family there. So I will reach out to them and we will have to talk and we will see what they're working on, whatever they can talk about. Uh, you know, I know y'all want to see, um, whatchamacallit, part three, Steady Decay 3. If they have that there and we can have that conversation, if I can get some behind the scenes, I will have it. But also remember, all the footage and stuff that I'm putting up is for members. All right, so that's only fair. That's how I'm doing it. You know, um, it's no disrespect that, you know, but these members been holding me down, like for real. Like, I'm being real with you. Members done been members. I've been putting stuff up for members. I've been giving out coins and food for members. So I got to give the members their stuff first, you know. And, and the algorithm pushes me in a different direction. You guys are finally finding the channel now. So I do appreciate you guys finding the channel. But this is the part in the video where I'm going to tell you to like, follow, and subscribe. And I'm going to take that logo. And for you out there who asked me to get Undead Labs, I'm going to throw that logo on, under, on Undead Labs. And I'm going to pull them close. And hopefully I can get some of that State of Decay uh, information. And I'm going to tell them, try to play the game pass.